we have some new amazing add-ons on the market so let's take a look at them starting with power paste this is a brand new add-on that lets you copy any images over the internet and paste them directly into blender using ctrl c ctrl v it also comes with other features that let you just instance the images that you have copied onto any mesh like a particle system using geometry nodes to let you scatter an instance vegetation or forest quite easily it also handles the materials for you getting rid of any backgrounds that might come with the image you can also use the add-on to paste directly into the shaders or even your image editor this kind of reminds me of send nodes which is my new add-on that lets you copy assets directly from my website for example i can copy any objects i have here and i've added a few templates like a fire template for a water simulation template and other things that you will do on a daily basis having this website on your second monitor while working is going to save you a lot of time i'm constantly adding new assets and they're all for free if you have any suggestions on what you want to see just let me know in the comments Next up is Hide Steps. This is a simple add-on that lets you hide different objects in steps. We already have a default way to hide things in Blender by using H. The problem with that is that it hides everything selected at once and when you want to undo the hide, it also unhides everything at once. But this Hide Step add-on allows you to unhide things in steps so you don't unhide everything at once it's quite useful if you do modeling and basically work with blender which i believe everyone here does next up we have cine blur which is a group node that works in the compositor allowing you to change the blur shapes generated when your objects are out of focus you can use any shapes you want that fits the style of your render Next up is an update to my Neon Lights Generator. I've converted it into a single object with geometry nodes so that you can easily switch between different signs. I've also added new features like color changes, animations, and other presets, making it easy to place and to fit into your scene. Next up is the new Fauna Master Pro. I'm still blown away with the results of this add-on. It's a collection of different animals, insects, birds, and other creatures that you can easily place into your scene with different animations and presets. They can also avoid obstacles like trees, objects, and other things within your setup, giving them natural behaviors to make your scenes come alive. If you're working on any action sequence, you might want to take a look at Muzzle Flash, which is a procedural muzzle flash generator, giving you control over the shape and adjustments for the style of gun you're using. Next up, we have add-on presets, which is an add-on that handles or manages different add-ons. In every Blender session, you might need different add-ons for different purposes. This add-on just lets you create a set of add-ons to use in different scenarios. If you're working on a city, you might want to enable iCity, iCars, and other add-ons. But if you're working on a forest, you might want to enable add-ons like the Forest Generator or Botanic, freeing up your interface and making things more organized. Speaking of cities, let's take a look at iCity, which has just received a new update to add more building, make it more optimized and easier to work with. The interface has also gotten an update, giving you an easier way to change the different blocks, height of the building and look of the building. You also have control over what goes onto your streets, the size of the streets, the vegetation, the design and architecture around your city. Next up, we have Terra Node, which is an add-on that lets you blend different object materials to make them look like they belong in the same world. Most of the time, we get assets from different libraries with different styles and different materials. Add-ons like Terra Brand make it easy for you to blend the different materials so that they look like they come from the same world. If your computer is struggling to handle all the objects, materials, textures, and shaders in your scene, Scene Boost is a good add-on to help you optimize everything. It can create LODs, that way when your camera is far from an object, the object changes to a lower polygon density, making your scenes lighter. It can also create texture proxies, which is basically a low resolution version of whatever texture you're using that will be switched to when the camera is far away. These are all techniques that are applied in game engines to make games run faster now they are here in blender if you're working on some motion graphics animation and you can't be bothered to make the motion graphics yourself here is an add-on that has all the presets that you you might need in your render 
This add-on just makes hard surface modeling quite easy with good topology. Instead of going through the traditional modeling of extruding and moving vertices, it allows you to just merge and subtract shapes together, keeping good topology flow. This makes it easy for UV unwrapping and because it's non-destructive, you can always go back and make adjustments to your mesh. Next up is the new nature generator. This is basically a combination of all assets that you need for creating detailed landscapes from mountain generators, river generators, canyons, rocks, lakes, cliffs, all combined into a single package, making it easy for you to customize and create amazing landscapes. Next up, we have iCars by the same creator of iCity, the city generator we looked at before. There's so many car libraries out there, but not many give you the control that iCars gives you. It allows you to drive the car within Blender and also export the car to other game engines with tools to let you animate it directly in Blender with adjustments for speed, drifting, and all things you might need for car animations. Plus, it's a car library with hundreds of different cars. Next up, we have the Lazy 3D add-on bundle. This is a collection of different add-ons, including Fauna Master Pro, which I've already looked at, a physical weather effects, which is a weather-based add-on to add rain, snow, wind, and other weather effects into your scene. It also comes with a real-time fluid effects, including rivers, water splashes. If you want to improve your Blender skills, Take a look at these courses, including the Master Geometry Nodes course, uh, which is a course that takes you through making different procedural assets in Geometry Nodes and also touches on motion graphics and also the Advanced Blender effects, which just goes into making advanced effects. That also has a section on creating science videos that are popular in the medical and science field. 